Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Corina Kurotaina Haura and my friends Indra Wijaya. We are from Management International Class 2019. We will present you about marketing channels. Marketing channels are the routes to market used to sell every product and service that consumer and business buyer purchase everywhere in the world. Marketing channels are the ways that goods and services are made available for use by the customer. All goods go through channels of distribution, and your marketing will depend on the way your goods are distributed. The road that the product takes on its way from production to the consumer is important because a marketer must decide which route or channel is best for his particular product. A marketing channel consists of the people, organization, and activities necessary to transfer the ownership of goods from the point of production to the point of the consumption. It is the way product get to the end user, the consumer, and it is also known as a distribution channel. A marketing channel is a useful tool for management and is crucial to creating an effective and well-planned marketing strategy. Formulation of the problem First, what the marketing channel is. Second, why manufacturers choose to use intermediaries between themselves and end user, and then what marketing flows define the work of the channel? Then, who the members of marketing channels are and the flows in which they can specialize? And then, the element of a framework for marketing channel design and implementation. Marketing channel a marketing channel is a set of interdependent organizations involved in the process of making a product or service available for use or consumption. First point out that a marketing channel is a set of interdependent organization. That is, a marketing channel is not just one firm doing its best in the market whether that firm is a manufacturer, wholesaler, or retailer. The purpose of channel marketing is to satisfy the end user in the market, be they consumer or final business buyer. The marketing channel is often viewed as a key strategic asset of a manufacturer. Their goal in the use or consumption of the product or service being sold. Marketing channels exist and change. The preceding example all include intermediaries who play some role in distributing product or service and some are example of markets whose marketing channel activities or structure have changed over time. Demand set factor Marketing channels containing intermediaries arise partly because they facilitate searching. The process of searching is characterized by uncertainty on the part of both end user and seller. Adjustment of assortment discrepancy Independent intermediaries in a marketing channel perform the function of sorting goods. This is valuable because of the natural discrepancy between the assortment of goods and services made by a given manufacturer and the assortment demanded by the end user. Supply set factor. The buyer and seller must agree on the amount, mode, and timing of payment. This cost of distribution can be minimized if the transactions are made routine. Marketing flows. The work of the channel includes the performance of several marketing flows. The term flows rather than functions or activities to emphasize that these processes often flow through the channel being done at different points in time by different channels members. In institutional settings, one often hears of the need to carry inventory to generate demand through selling activities to physically distribute product, to engage in after-sale service, and to extend credit to other channel members or to end users. Members of Marketing Channels The key members of a marketing channel are manufacturers, intermediaries, or wholesale, retail, and specialized 
and end users who can be business customers or consumers. The presence or absence of particular types of channel members is dictated by their ability to perform the necessary channel flows to add value to end users. Often there is one channel member that can be considered as channel captain. The channel captain is an organization that takes the keenest interest in the working of the channels for this product or service and that acts as a primary mover in establishing and maintaining channel links. The channel captain is often the manufacturer of the product or service, particularly in the case of branded product. Framework for channel analysis Channels managers need to comprehensive framework for analysis to guide them through both the initial design of the channel and its ongoing management over time. Without such a framework, they may ignore important elements of the design or management process, resulting in inappropriately constructed or managed channels. The marketing channel's challenge involves two major processes. The first one is designing the right channel, and the second, implementing that design. The design process involves segmenting the market, choosing which segments to target, and producing channel service output for the target and users in the most efficient way possible. The efficiency imperative implies a need to understand what the work of channel is, in order to choose the kinds of intermediaries to include in the channel, their specific identities, and their number, and to allocate the work of channel optimally among them. The implementation process requires an understanding of each channel's member sources of power and their dependence. An understanding of the potential for channel conflict and a resulting plan for creating an environment where the optimal channel design can be effectively executed on an ongoing basis. This outcome is called as channel coordination. Conclusion From this chapter, we can conclude that the manufacturer and intermediaries between it and the end users share the work of the channel. Sometimes, specializing in the performance of certain channels flows to which they are uniquely suited. The discussion in this chapter suggests that all of these analytic elements are important in generating a well-designed and well-working marketing channel. None of the elements can be safely ignored. Ignoring the segmented na nature of demands for service outputs leaves the channel manager with no guidelines for optimal channel design. Ignoring the cost of channel flows leads to channels that operate at too high a cost. Failing to close demand side or supply side gaps leaves the channel open to competitive challenge. And failing to recognize the threats of channel conflict or the leverage that channel power confers on the channel Manager can leave a well-designed channel open to poor performance in the marketplace because of improper implementation of the design. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.